be showing you my red lip tutorial. A lot of you guys liked the way it looked on me and I was just like, oh my god, like so excited. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I achieved this red matte look. Okay, so first off, I used three products. I used a setting powder, whoo, uh, Spotlight Red in Wet n Wild. This is my fave. And then from Jordana, I used Carbonet. So the reason why you're probably wondering why I use setting powder, when you have a lipstick and you want to make it matte, you when you use a setting powder, it just makes it matte and it makes it last all day. I'm not even kidding you, it seriously makes you like it leaves it on all day. Um, a lot of you are probably gonna be like, well, what you're holding is a matte lipstick. This is a matte lipstick. It looks matte sometimes, but I think it looks too glossy at times. Um I want that like MAC Roo Roo color or just that deep where it looks chalky. Um, some people like that, some people don't. Me, I love it. I don't know why. I like it when it looks really matte and chalky. Uh, to me, it just it brings back like, I don't know, like have you guys ever seen the movie Selena? I know a lot of you are going to be like, duh. But some of you guys haven't. The movie Selena, when she wore a really dark matte lipstick, I was just like, oh my god. It just looks so freaking wow. Like Jennifer Lopez, when she was rocking that like matte lip I was just like yes boo boo like she just looks so good so enough with me talking I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve this so going in with Carbonette from Jordana this is probably like a dollar a dollar fifty a dollar something not that expensive you can even just use this color if you want just to get that really deep color but I'm gonna be mixing it with the um, spotlight so uh, what I like to do is just outline and then bring it in my lips so let's start and bringing out the famous pinky, pinky, pinky. I always place it on my chin for some reason, but oh well, I feel like a badass. So just outline your lip. And when you're outlining your lip, make sure to bring it in right there. A lot of um, people just like, just, just I'll show you on the side. A lot of people do that. And you can see the difference. I'm gonna go like this. Here, there's nothing. Here, there's the liner all the way. All the way. <laughs> you gotta bring it down all the way so that it looks really full. I know I made this mistake a lot of times where I'll just line it to here and I look at pictures and then there's just that gap and it just looks weird. So make sure to bring the liner all the way down. Okay, so now your lips are outlined and you look like a uh, chola. Just kidding. You want to start bringing it in. So just like this. Leave the middle um, empty. And then I just go like that. So the middle is empty. The middle's empty, it has nothing. So now we're gonna go in with Spotlight Red from Wet n Wild. This is not more than $2. Really, really affordable, very, very pretty. So I'm just gonna apply it in the middle of my lips. And you see how it says that it's matte, but it still has like a glossy finish. I don't like that. When I think of matte, I think of just like and matte where it looks kind of chalky but not drying. So since this is already glossy, this um, is really moisturizing. So when I, when I apply the setting powder over it, it's not just going to look like ugh, like you can't move your lips like really hard. It's still going to be moisturized underneath, but it's just going to be matte on top. If that makes any sense, I hope it does. So going in with just any setting powder that you have. Do not use a setting powder that's in, let's see. Do not use a setting powder that's in this form. It does not work because when you're going in and you're you're applying it, it's just gonna soak up the, the lipstick and it's just gonna look weird. I already tried it when I was in the car. I wanted to make my lipstick matte and I did that and it just made a mess. So make sure to use a loose setting powder. So I have powder right there. Gonna grab your finger and just dab on it very, very slowly. Just like that, it's like the 
And do you see how it's just, it looks so freaking pretty. Okay, so of course your hands are gonna get a little bit dirty, that's fine. I'm just gonna go in with a loose, fluffy brush and I'm just gonna clean it up. Okay, so just give that a minute just to soak and just to like chill. Okay, and just to sharpen it up a bit, if you guys make any mistakes or you guys see it bleeding a little bit, I like to go in with a concealer brush and some foundation and just clean it up. Okay, so I'm just using the foundation that I have on my face, so I'm just going to apply a little bit and with a concealer brush. And that is it. That's how I achieved my red, bold, matte lip. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned some new things. If you guys try it out, definitely let me know down below. Even if you guys upload it on Instagram, I love to see your guys' pictures. So please um, tag me in it or hashtag Alexis Jada so I can see it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Bye.